So I often see these videos kind of talking about Leonardo DiCaprio and his dating life and all that stuff. And for whatever reason, in the past few years, it's become so, like, I don't want to say controversial. It has been controversial, but it's been such a target of debate and, I don't know, it's, it's just become such a big talking point, and I don't really understand the reason why. Um, I don't know, this video I want to sort of get into what my beliefs are about why he dates younger girls and how he goes about it, how he has not really gotten into trouble. Because I think a lot of people have also expected if he's dating these young girls and breaking up with them every, once they hit like 25 or 26, 24, whatever, how has he not been in trouble yet? How has no girls come out and said, oh, he's been doing A, B, and C? Even if they were lying, how has he been getting away with this? How has he been pulling this off? So I want to kind of address that. I do want to start with this. Why are we so invested in Leonardo DiCaprio's life? To me, that's such a strange thing. Like I saw a reel super recently and the girl was sort of saying how at his age, he's effectively like a father to these girls that he's dating. And then he's being so weird and so creepy by dating them. And as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck cares? If the girl's an adult and she consents to it and they're happy together, then why do we care what DiCaprio does? Why does the age matter? Why are we getting involved in his life? So that's the first thing. That's what we want to start with. Now, when it comes to the actual reason why he does it and I guess how he's pulling this off, I have some theories because I think it's actually quite, quite fascinating. And this is not me like criticizing his life. I don't particularly care about his life. I don't care about most celebrities' lives. But because I keep hearing about it so much, I start thinking about it. Um, and I hear people bring up some pretty interesting points. So one thing I want to bring up is that I, it is a weird thing where people assume that any interaction between a male and female is automatically cookie cutter. And when I say cookie cutter, I mean, it's the exact same for everybody. I don't think people truly understand that you can interact with a girl. You can interact with a woman, a female, whatever you want to call the opposite sex. And it doesn't have to be sexual. It's a weird thing. Like it blows my mind sometimes. So they'll say, Oh, DiCaprio is hanging around with 24 year olds. He's such a creep for all, you know, he just likes being around younger girls. Cause maybe they just offer a more fun lifestyle than girls his age. Maybe most of the girls in, his, in their 40s and 30s just want to work and they just want to be moms and they just want to do adult stuff. And then you meet a girl who's 21 and she's like in college and she's like, I don't want to be a mom. I don't want to work. I just want to have fun. I want to party. I want to go on boats. I want to enjoy my life. And it never crosses people's mind to think that maybe as a 40 something year old man, he might think, you know what? I like feeling young. I like retaining my youth as long as I can. And the way for me to retain it is by being around younger people. And maybe I don't want to be around younger males that much because maybe maybe he does hang around younger males and we just don't bring that up because it wouldn't be weird. But we notice when he's around younger females and maybe he dates one and maybe he says to the girl, hey, you know what? I'll date you. But in exchange, I'll pretty much pay for everything you want. I'll pay for your lifestyle. You'll effectively live like a multi-millionaire lifestyle just like that by being with me. You'll get a bit of clout because you're my girlfriend and it's DiCaprio. So the girl has a lot to gain and he also has a lot to gain. He gets to be with a young girl and feel youthful for as long as he wants to until she's 25. And some people say, why does he do it until she's 25? And I thought about that. I was wondering like, why, why 25? My thoughts on this is that she probably understands that he's not trying to marry these girls. He's probably not trying to have kids with them. Maybe. And he probably isn't trying to date them super long term. So my guess is that around 25, he probably told them we're going to break up but this is a good opportunity for you to still go out and date find a husband find a long-term boyfriend you'll still be relatively young this is going to sound controversial but this is fact this is true most men like girls that are younger than them this has been st studied endlessly this is not up for debate i know sometimes i hear this and girls will say what about my job and my career most guys do not care about that stuff i think that's fine I, there are some guys that do care and that's completely fine too but I think if we're being honest with ourselves and if we're actually using data, most, and if we're just using common sense and if most men were being honest, most men would agree that the younger the girl, to a certain point, obviously, don't be weird about it. The younger the girl, the better. 18 is usually what studies indicate to be sort of peak attractiveness for a lot of women. Um, 18 to 25 is sort of that age range. So I'm sure DiCaprio probably understands this and he said, you know, at 25, you're still young. You can still find a husband. You can still find a long-term boyfriend. You can still live your life the way you want to live it as a normal girl. So I'm breaking up. And they probably can agree upon it long beforehand. This is sort of my thinking, my theory, whatever, my thoughts about this. 
As for why no girl really talks about it, I'm sure with DiCaprio, he doesn't come off as, as an idiot. He comes off as a pretty smart guy from what I've seen. He probably makes him sign NDAs. I think that's the simplest thing. Sign an NDA. Just don't talk about it. It's not that big of a deal. I'll keep my mouth shut. You keep your mouth shut. We go along with this agreement. When you're 25, boom, I'm moving on to the next girl. Not because it's anything against you. I prob- He probably still pays for them. He probably still does stuff for them anyway if they ask for it. I would imagine. But I'm sure that's probably the agreement he has going on with them. But long story short, though, really what, what it comes down to is everyone should mind their business. Let him live his life. He's not doing anything illegal. Just because you think it's weird and creepy doesn't mean it's actually weird and creepy. You don't set the standards of how people should have their relationships or how people should live their lives. And that's really it. Hopefully this made sense. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Peace.